Now, I'm really pissed I didn't paint my nails. I forgot, but like, I already started this video. I'm not redoing it. Like, how sick is that? I died. I'm literally stupid, so. I don't know how this video is already so long. I hate myself. Okay, then I got this, and I'm so pissed because this looked so pretty in the store, and I came home and put it on, and it looks fucking terrible on me. Like, Hey guys, so, my tongue is really red because I just ate airheads, but anyway, I right now am uploading my, what I got for Christmas video, like, a month late, but you know, better late than never, I guess, and right now I'm doing a haul, and I have mostly Ulta, like, three things from MAC, and then a few things from Charming Charlie, and then I have, like, another haul video I need to film today. And then I also want to film a Tumblr question video today. Because I haven't done one of those in a really long time. So I woke up at 8 o'clock this morning so I could, like, get all ready and, like, edit my, like, Christmas video and upload that. Which it's saving right now. It's, like, importing on my computer the edited version. And then I have to upload it. But then I have, like, four, three videos to film. Four, but, like, just a uh, girl. So, we're going to get started. I kind of explained it in my Christmas video, but I'm just going to explain it again because I feel like I've said this 57 times, but I feel like I've never mentioned it in a video I've actually uploaded because real life, I film a video like once a week. Like, I'm so serious. Like, on average once a week, sometimes like three times a week, and I literally just never upload my videos because I never have time to edit them. So, I feel like I've said this a million times, but I don't know if I've said it in a video I have actually uploaded. So if you've heard this a million times, I apologize. And if you follow me on Instagram, I kind of mentioned it. But basically, if you didn't know, I do online school. And they said, like, if I passed all my classes my senior year, I only had to do the first semester, which was over, you know, like, right after Christmas break. It literally just ended for me on Thursday. And today is Tuesday, so, like, just ended. But, um... Your girl got a 4.0, so I'm done. I'm so excited. I literally, like, just finished the last of my assignments, like, a couple days ago, so thank God. But I am, like, done, and I'm graduated, and I am so relieved. Just, like, so relieved. So, basically, my life was work and school, and now my life is work and YouTube so that was like my little adjustment so basically that was like the reason I wasn't uploading because like girl I was just really trying to get my shit and graduate because obviously no one is going to pretend that your mom is gonna say like YouTube is more important than your schoolwork like no bitch I need to graduate so I'm done thank god my camera's dying but anyway we're done I'm good like I'm free and just Life is good, life is good. So we're gonna get started. This is super collective, by the way, just saying. This is basically from, like, Christmas time, like, a little bit after Christmas, once I got, like, gift cards and shit, you know? But also, it's really collective, so 90% of this stuff I have used, so you can either think that's a good thing because I can give you a little mini review on some of it, or you can be like, oh my god, this isn't a real haul, but, like, sorry. It's collective, I'm putting that in the title, so bitch, don't judge me. But anyway, I'm going to go through all of the little stuff. I have like three big palettes and then a bunch of little stuff. So basically, really boring stuff. I needed more powders because I ran out of mine and I'm not like... I just buy powder, use it up, and get a new one. I'm not really into powders. These are really the only two I use. So CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous, I picked up a new one. And then the Maybelline Fit Me set and smooth this is just kind of like the normal one but i just needed powder i ran out of mine so yes and then i wanted to get i needed a new like i use a white like translucent powder under my eyes but not a loose one because that's way too messy and i just don't have time to do that in the morning when i'm getting ready or for work or anything like i wake up like 20 minutes before i have to be at work so i really don't have time to be baking under my eyes so i just use a translucent powder and i have this like this is the one I was using, this Makeup Forever one. I've had this, like, forever. Sorry, my nails are ratchet. I was going to paint them, but, like, I didn't, so. <laughs> but anyway, it's, like, almost gone. And then my Tarte Smooth Operator one is the one I was using, and I broke it, and it's shattered, and it's just, like, annoying to use. So, I picked up this NYX HD Finishing Powder, and then this Essence All About Matte thing. I haven't opened this one yet, but I've been using this one every day since I bought it, and... I like 
like it. I'm wearing it right now if the transition powder is relevant. Then, this was like at the little checkout thing and I just really wanted it. So I just picked up um, two of these. This one is for combination oily and this one is very dry to dry combination. So... This one I basically use on, like, my nose and when my skin is really dry because literally, like, most people are oily in their T-zone, but, like, my forehead and my chin are oily, but my nose is, like, the Sahara Desert, so that's why I kind of got both because I was, like, eh, I'll use this one, like, more in the winter time, and then this one I can use, like, all year, and they're so cute, look how little, it was, like, five bucks, I was, like, I had to, then... I got this Benefit Bad Gal Lash because I haven't been buying, I feel like I haven't bought new mascara in a while and I just really wanted to. I had a mini of this forever ago. This is a mascara where you either love it or you hate it. And I love it, so obviously I bought it. Okay, then we have some little minis because I got these at around like Christmas time. They have like little stocking stuffers, so that's why these are all minis. I don't know how this video is already so long. I hate myself. Okay, this is the It Superhero mascara I don't know I'm really pissed I didn't paint my nails I forgot but like I already started this video I'm not redoing it but that's what that looks like and then I got a mini hula and a mini dandelion because look how freaking cute these are and they were like ten dollars so I was like mm, why not and they come with the little brush and everything and they're just like so cute and little and honestly benefit hula is the only bronzer I use and I use it every single day of my life so like it's not like I'm not going to use this eventually. And Benefit Dandelion is actually my only boxed blush that I fit pan on. I only have like three of these, but this is the only one I fit pan on. So I do really like this one. And it was just so cute. I had to get it. Mini Professional. This is seriously my favorite primer ever. I love it. It's just oh, it's amazing. So, yes. And then a little mini Benefit There Real. I bought like three of these to give to people as presents. And I just kept one because... I love this mascara. I seriously think this is like one of the top mascaras I've ever used. It's awesome. Now for the top mascara I've ever used, Too Faced Better Than Sex. I've never, I do not recommend any mascara more than this. Like this is the number one mascara I've ever used in my life. Number one. So I wanted to try the waterproof version and it looks so cool. Like it has water droplets all over the packaging. Like how sick is that? I died. And anyway, the brush doesn't look like anything special, but just literally, I mean, this mascara is called Better Than Sex. Like, this mascara is seriously so good. The waterproof version is just as good. I love it. I like waterproof because my mascara always smears under my eyes. I don't know why. And it always looks like I'm crying. And, I mean, I am half the time, but, like, still. So, I got the waterproof kind, and I love this. This mascara is so good. If you haven't ever tried it, try it. I promise you, you will love it, honestly. Um, then... I got a Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner Pencil, and then, of course, I literally lost it, so I bought another Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner, and then I found this one. So, I'm just not going to, like, open this one, you know, so that it doesn't get dried out. I'm just going to, like, save it, but... I bought this one and I lost it and it was it fell under like my computer desk and then my mom swept my room and found it. So I'm just not going to open this one until I use this one up. But I love this eyeliner and I haven't bought it in so long. So I was so pissed that I finally like repurchased it and then I lost it. I was pissed but I found it so it's okay. But this is a really good eyeliner. Then this is like a rediscover. This is a Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch. I just really wanted to try... Um, a new concealer. It's like a highlighting concealer. It's really nice. It's just like a clicky pen one. And I really like this. I'm wearing it today. And it's like a rediscovered. I actually really, really like this. So, yes. Then I want to do a review on these. So I got every single color that they had. And it's a new thing from NYX. And it's called the Away We Glow Liquid Highlighter. And this is what they look like. They're, oh my god, I love them. They're so cool. So, uh, I have seven of them these were the only seven colors they had i think i'm missing like three or four of them and this one is my favorite it's number four crystal glare this is my favorite on my skin tone i love it but anyway i'm going to go through these really quickly state of flux which is like a pinky one um moonbeam which is really golden peachy moon glow which is like a white silvery daytime halo which is like a really pretty golden champagne Liquid Prism, which is more of a straight-up white. 
And then State of Flux again. I accidentally got two of these because I'm literally stupid. So, yes. Okay, then I got this Essence eyeshadow just because I thought it was pretty. And I was just, like, compulsive shopping. Like, oh, my God, I need this. And it's in... Do you say apricot or apricot? But anyway, it's apricot -a. However you say it, but yeah. And it just looks like this. And it's just like a really pretty peachy color. And this is really pretty all over the lid. That's what I use it for. That didn't show up, but I swear. It's it's good. It's good. Then I got this, and I'm so pissed because this looked so pretty in the store. And I came home and put it on, and it looks fucking terrible on me. Like, I don't know what happened, but this just looks so bad on me. Uh, but it's the Juve's Melted Liquefied thing, and they came out with, like, kind of a chocolate line, so it's more, like, I don't know, basically just, like, trying to make it sound new, so you'll want to buy it. But this is in the shade Nude, and this was one of the, like, new shades, and, like, it looks so pretty, and I was like, oh my god, this is so nice. And then I came home and I put it on, and it looks like shit on me, like, oh my god, it looks absolutely terrible. And it looks pretty even here, but, like, when I put it on and once it dries down, it's, like, too orangey-brown on me, and it just looks horrible. Like, I don't know what happened, but, yeah. And it's a lip product. Like, I can't, like, obviously, bitch, I used this, you know what I mean? Like, what am I supposed to do with this now? I don't know. I still wear it, like, sometimes, and I just, like, put, um, something, like, over it because it was so expensive, and I'm just, like... I don't know how this looked pretty in the store. I remember I was like, oh my god, this is so pretty. And then I came home and I wore it like two days later and I was like, this looks terrible on me. Like, I don't know what happened. Anyway. Oh, then I got this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter because I heard um, someone talk about this. It's called Be My Highlight. And it's good, but it's honestly like a neutrally highlight. And I like to like bathe in highlighter like... Bitch, like, do you see this? Like, this is not, like, um, a glare. This is, like, my highlighter is literally, like, a freaking, like, bright-ass, ridiculous, like, stripe on my face. But, um, this one, okay, it's right here. It's, like, a nice golden-y, but you have to really, like, layer it for it to be, like, crazy. But it is nice if you're just, like, in a rush and just want something, like, naturally, but still not, like, natural. It's, like, that bitch has highlighter on, you know what I mean? But, like, yeah. Okay, then I got this. Ugh. This is just like an impulse purchase, and I actually, sorry, but this is the Becca Highlighter in Moonstone, and like, bitch, this is so hyped up, like, no. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. I have this in Opal, like, I bought the little, like, mini, um, powder, and like, the, you know what I mean? Like, the little powder, and then it has, like, the little cream one that's like a wand, in opal and i love that so i was like oh my god moonstone like this is supposed to be really good for like pale bitches like me and like the thing is it's so pretty it is like so smooth and pretty like say pretty one more time bitch okay anyway but that's it right there it's just like i feel like my mac soft and gentle is like just as good as this like i wasn't like blown away by it like i was expecting to be because i never bought like a full-size becca highlighter you know and i this was like at the checkouts and I was like oh my god like Ulta never has Becca highlighter so I was so excited and the thing is it is good it's so pretty I would never like return it it's just that I feel like it wasn't like mind-blowing like I expected it to be but maybe it's like I had such high expectations it had to be amazing or it would have disappointed me so it's like mm, but I mean it's not bad at all it's an amazing highlighter it's just like it wasn't like up to my expectations but yes now we have the three big palettes. So first is this Tartlet in Bloom. I'm sure you have seen this. It's so beautiful. But it looks like this. If I blind you, I don't care because this is so pretty. It's worth it. Like, bitch, look at, look at this. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I'm literally obsessed. Oh, I love this. Amazing. Buy it. My favorite color is Funny Girl. This, like, shimmery shade down here. This is for sure my favorite. Then this is basically what, like ruined every highlighter I've ever used in my life because this shit is so good. It is the Tardis Pro Glow Palette. This thing is like $45. And then there's this like beautiful like suede like NARS packaging stuff and it has like a magnetic closure and a giant ass mirror on both sides and it just feels so like luxurious and expensive as fuck. Like just like so nice. So nice. And basically it has four highlight shades so these are more like golden-y ones and then this is more like a white in a champagne taupey kind of one I don't know this one does have gray tones to it though seriously 
Anyway, this one is the shade color. That's what it says. And it's like a cream. And this one is a sculpt one. And this is really nice to use as a bronzer. But you have to have a really, really, really light hand. Like, barely touch this and tap off your brush. Tap it and take a different brush and blend it. Like, it is so, like, oh, bitch. Like, seriously. Like, trust me. But anyway. Lit, Fire, Strobe, and Stunner are the shades. And... This is what it looks like. Um, these ones are the more golden -y ones, and these ones are, like, more for pale. You know what I mean? So these are the two I use, basically, but can you read it? There's, like, powder everywhere. I'm sorry, but these two are my favorite. The only thing is, um, strobe. It has, like, a little bit of glitter, and I, do, I hate glitter in anything. I love shimmer, but I hate glitter, like, chunky glitter, you know what I mean? But this has, like, a little bit of glitter, but it's nothing at all, like that I care about so this is the light one and this is the more the one like under you know what I mean but anyway these are amazing this like literally I hit myself in the face but I don't care because it's that perfect no highlighter will ever nope sorry this is this is just you buy this and you're like set for life these pans are huge and there's four of them you're never gonna run out there's like a sculpt and a like Contour, like, girl, this is all you need. This is all you need. It's just... <laughs> I'm living for this. Seriously, it's perfect. Anyway, I'm gonna shut the fuck up now. Guys, I was literally waiting. Like, I had screenshots on my phone of this. I wanted it so bad. And, like, I walked into Ulta, like, the day after Christmas. And I was like... And I bought it. And I was so scared because I was so pissed, bitch. I bought this palette and I came home and I bought one that was broken. Like, I literally tweaked out. Like, I was tripping. I was like, no fucking way. Like, the one time I don't open a palette and look at it, like, I bought a broken one. But, like, bitch, I returned it and got a normal one. But I was so pissed. But luckily, this one, you know, I decided to open it. So, don't worry. I didn't get a broken one. But anyway... This is the packaging, Too Faced Sweet Peach. It's so cute. It smells like peaches. Anyway, this is it. It's so pretty. I like this palette because every palette has, like, those one to five shades that you know you'll never wear. And there is not a single shade in here that I literally couldn't wear. Like, you could make every single one of these wearable. There is not one shade in here that I would literally never be able to make work for some eye look. They're all... You can work with all of them. Like, they're all just... Oh, my God. Okay. I'll do, like, a little close-up for you. So pretty. I seriously love this. Today, I'm wearing Nectar on my lid, Puree in my crease, Charmed, I'm sure, with a little bit of Summer Yum. But this one, the Summer Yum is, like, a little red tone. So, if you see kind of a red tone color, that's what that is. But anyway... I love this. I've honestly used it, like, every single day since I bought it. These are the only two palettes I really switch between. But anyway, I'm gonna stop talking because this video is so fucking long. I actually hate myself. I didn't even mean for this video to be long. Oh my god, and I didn't even go through this stuff. Okay, this is really quick. This is quick. I'm not showing time to tell you. I don't have time. But anyway, this was, like, literally Black Friday. Like, this was a minute ago. But this was the collection. This is the packaging. I do not remember what this collection was called at all. I have no idea. But they're called the Magic Dust Eyeshadows, if, like, that helps at all. But anyway, this one is Dance Flowers Dance. And then this one is Forward March, which is, like, a really pretty golden -y color. So this is what they look like. They're really pretty. And I don't know if this helps you. I really don't remember what collection this was, but anyway. And then they had these little lip glasses, like, literally for $5. So I was like, obviously. So this is what it looks like. This is the color... It, um, water DDs. I have no fucking idea what this is. I don't know, but it's really pretty, and it was like five dollars for this cute little one to put in your purse. So yeah, that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want a like in-depth review on anything I showed, let me know. Or if you want to see anything in tutorial, I am gonna do a review on these NYX Away We Glow highlighters because I bought every shade just to do that. So. Thumbs up this video if you want me to do that. And if you don't thumbs up this video, I'm going to be really sad because I bought every color so I could do that video. So, thumbs up this video or you're lame and we're not friends. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm kidding. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being patient with me. I love you guys to death. I just really needed to graduate. Like, that is, like, an essential thing for the rest of your entire life. So, 
now that that's out of the way, I'm so happy that's like a giant weight off my shoulders. So now I'm just like, like girl, I woke up at 8 in the morning today to film videos. I don't wake up at 8 in the morning for school. So I'm going to go edit this and just like upload crazy. You're going to get annoyed at me, but that's good. It's okay. Please subscribe so we can become best friends because we are literally best friends here if you didn't know. And leave a request down below because I'm like getting back on my freaking YouTube grind and I'm going to be uploading videos like crazy and filming them all the time. So leave requests because obviously I want to do videos that you guys want to see. So I love you all beautiful people so much and thank you for watching. Bye.